this is Stampy, and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video, and another video inside of Stampy's uh, lovely world. Today, sadly, there is no William Beaver, but we will be joined by Polly Reindeer. Good morning, Polly. You can probably tell how things generally work around here now. So when we're building something big or digging, then William Beaver's there. And then when we're doing the detail or redstone, then Polly Reindeer's here because she is the redstone expert. And that means if the redstone goes wrong, it's all her fault. <laughs> only joking, Polly. I'm only joking. Of course, it will all be my fault. It is always my fault. <laughs> anyway, let's go and have my breakfast, which will, of course, be a lovely cake. Nom, 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 nom delicious and Barnaby I'm gonna let you chill out in my bedroom today because I'm actually gonna be surprising uh, Gregory Jr. and uh, taking him with me to today uh, but before that I'm gonna surprise someone else and add them to my love garden and if you don't know what my love garden is uh, basically the start of all of my episodes I put someone's name down in a sign and uh, say thank you to them for some reason and the only rule about being added to the the love garden is that you are not allowed to ask to be added to the uh, the, the love garden uh, but the person I'm adding today is Raul and the reason I'm adding Raul is because he sent me this picture of a Stampy's Lovely World dog picker. And basically the idea is, is that you spin it and then whichever dog the arrow is pointing to is the dog I take with me. And I don't have the uh, the dog picker here, so I'm kind of just picking the, the dogs myself. But I thought uh, that that was a really cool idea. So yeah, I wanted to say thank you very much for making it and sending me the, the picture. And welcome to my love garden. All right then. Let's go and uh, let's go and head down to the the teleporter. Then, seeing as we are not going to the the doghouse, uh, we can go down to the uh, the the secret base and uh, go to the uh, the teleporter to get right to where we need to be building. Uh, because yeah, we are finishing off the um uh, the the mini game. Well, finishing off is probably a little bit ambitious. We're going to do as much as we can <laughs> of the uh, the chicken snowball slime mini game. I still don't have a name for it yet, but uh, hopefully I'll come up with uh, with one soon. All right then, let's uh let's do the combination. Do you want to go and do the uh, the combination today, Polly. Let's see uh, how well Polly can remember the, the combination. And I'm not just making her do it because I forgot. I remembered as well. I promise. I promise I did. <laughs> right, let's go and uh, try and shut this behind us if we can. Boom. There we go. And no one will be able to, to follow us behind. Uh, so yeah, let's go into the, the teleporter. Go and press the, the button and head off to the Funland. Right then, we should have hopefully arrived at our destination. Uh, so let's uh, let's go and uh, surprise Gregory Jr. then, shall we? And oh no, it looks like one of the uh, the chickens might have escaped from our games. I don't know, I think that might be a, a different chicken. But hello, Gregory Jr. You look like you're having the time of your life sitting down here. But today, uh, you can come and, uh, and join us while we go and do the uh, the, the mini game. So uh, yeah, if you didn't see the last episode, uh, the idea for the, the game is that it's launching a bunch of chickens in the, the sky and you need to knock them uh, into each other's pits uh, by using snowballs. And in the last episode, we got quite a lot of it done, to be honest. We got all of this done in the last episode. There's no... There's no real easy way to get in and out right now. So uh, what I'm going to do, uh, rather than make a, a doorway, because otherwise I kind of got to break a hole into it and all the chickens are going to escape, I'm going to kind of just make some uh, some ladders uh, on the, the outside of the, the area. So then that way for, for now, like just for today, uh, we can go and uh, climb in and out. Because um, as I kind of mentioned in the, the last episode, the inside of the, the game... It's kind of like a, a chicken-only zone. You're never really supposed to, to kind of go uh, on the, the inside of the, the game. Uh, you're really only supposed to be on the, the outside. So uh, for today, uh, I can go and uh, just put this in so we can go and get building. And hello, Polly. <laughs> right, then let's get started. So the plan for today is is I want to get the, the four booths done. So one there, 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 and there. Uh, so we're going to try and get them done. And then I also want to do the counting uh, mechanism because all of the, the chickens, uh, every time they drop down past uh, here, uh, there's going to be a tripwire a hook which is going to go and uh, basically count how many chickens have gone down and so I'm going to go and try and get that done today and uh, show you how that's going to work. As you can see the uh, the slime launcher is off for now uh, just because it's a bit noisy and we're going to have chickens flying all over the place so we will turn that on uh, in a, a little bit but for now uh, let's get started. So the, the first thing I should do uh, is down here and uh, this is to, to kind of add the, the blocker I guess we can call it. So there's going to be some sticky pistons along here eventually on all of the, uh, the different sides as well and oh <laughs> it looks like Gregory Jr. has gone down to join the chickens. <laughs> okay, whatever he wants to, to do. So yeah, these are going to be on each side. And basically, once three chickens drop down, this will extend. And then that's going to... um. 
uh, block this area off so more uh, no more chickens can go down and then in that case it means that you're going to, to be out so yeah for now uh, Polly if you'd kind of just put down the the colored strips uh, so if, actually, tell you what Polly if you just copy me what I do here on this side on all of the the other sides then I reckon we should get this done pretty quickly so uh, the next thing I need to do is uh, I can break away here because uh, this is where you're going to be throwing the the snowballs from and so what we're going to do here is we're going to add in some um, uh, some fences and so the fences are basically going to block you so you can't can't walk out of the the booth you're basically stuck in there but you can see everything that you need to, to be able to to see so if you kind of have a, a low down ceiling and then have fence poles here it kind of blocks you off uh, pretty well uh, but it enables you to be able to see everything that you need to see so this is going to be uh, kind of the the level where the floor is going to be so you're going to be standing like on here and then we're going to have a, a low ceiling uh, above it so let's go and do the the ceiling and i can kind of show you exactly how that's going to work it looks like gregory jr has uh, has left the uh, the chicken friends <laughs> i think he's just loving having a bit of a, a run around to be honest because he's been sitting down there for so long probably getting pretty chilly i think he's just enjoying being able to, to stretch his legs for a little bit uh, so yeah this should go seven blocks along here one two three four five six seven there we go that was uh, absolutely perfect then i'm gonna fill the middle in with um orange wool just to kind of mark this as the the orange side i guess then of course each different side is going to be each different uh yeah each different color and so it might look like this area is quite big but the big reason for that is one uh, to have enough room to throw the snowballs uh, but also just for the redstone for those sticky pistons you need to make sure that you've got room uh, to kind of do a trail of redstone leading to, to them uh, so that's why this area is quite big but then the the doorways are going to be kind of just underneath me here and this is going to be where you're actually going to, to enter the game so let's go and uh, kind of build that part first I guess if I kind of go down here like that and then up there like that so this is going to be uh, where you enter the game and of course each player uh, is going to enter their own side and so uh, this is going to be really the only place you uh, you go to and then the only other thing I need to do here uh, once Gregory Jr. moves out the, the way is to add a ladder so it's basically just going to be a row of ladders uh, along here and uh, this is going to be how you're going to get to the, the game. I guess I'm going to leave that block for now seeing as a uh, <laughs> As uh, Gregory Jr.'s made that his uh, his new home. <laughs> You're acting like Corey today, Gregory Jr. Just investigating absolutely uh, absolutely everything. I might have to, to sit him down when the uh, the slime block starts launching. Because uh, otherwise it might end up being a little bit dangerous. There we go. Let's go and uh, take this as an opportunity to get him to, to sit down. Before he gets into to any more trouble. Alright then. Let's go and uh, build the, uh, the rest of uh, this wall uh, along here like this. And then there's also gonna be some uh, more wool on the outside here of the uh, the four different colors and there's two reasons for that one reason is just to make it look good and kind of mark the the different sides but the main reason is to cover up some redstone so there's basically going to to be uh, some redstone down here you can kind of see there's a bit of a hole down there already and that's where the trip wire is going to be the trip wire is going to be on the other side and so basically to cover up the the redstone uh, there needs to be a bit of a hole there and so if i kind of just build along like this it covers up the the redstone also it kind of marks the area quite well i might even kind of like carry on building along there a bit Actually, if I get rid of that, like there, uh, then that way I can have the, the pink wall will come along here and kind of this will be the, the gap in the middle. I think that's going to, uh, yeah, look pretty good. So we've pretty much finished this section now. I just need to add the uh, the floor down here and then the, the ladders leading up. And then that will pretty much, I think, be this booth uh, completely done. And then we can go downstairs and kind of make all of the, the mechanism work. So let's go and uh, make a, a few more uh, uh, a few more ladders. Uh, and I'm just going to kind of fill this entire area in with ladders uh, just so you can kind of get up uh, quickly and easily. Like, I really only need one ladder, but I might as well just go and uh, fill the uh, the entire area in. Uh, and then there's one more thing that I need to add down, but only on this side. And that is a lever down in this corner here. And that is the, that's the magical lever. That's the lever that's going to start the entire game and reset it every time. So there only needs to be one on this side because it's going to reset like everyone's all to, together. So that's the important lever. But you can see now that I can kind of stand here and I can't move anywhere further forward. You see that I'm getting stopped by the defenses, even though it looks like they shouldn't stop me. And then this way I can kind of see everywhere I need to see and throw my snowballs, uh, but I won't end up kind of falling uh, down into the, the game. So that's kind of the uh, the idea for, for that. So what do you think? Does it look cool? I, th I think this is going to end up looking pretty good. So uh, let's go now and add in the, uh, the, the trip wire hooks and then we can go downstairs and uh, try and get the, uh, the counting mechanism. And uh, as I kind of pointed out in the the, uh, the last episode as well. If you do build this game yourself, 
everything I'm about to do now, you don't need to do. So the reason I want to do it is because it means that we can kind of do games quickly and it's kind of all automatic. If you kind of just keep count yourself of like how many chickens has fallen down, as long as you're honest, <laughs> you don't need to do any of this redstone uh, for all of the, the counting. Uh, I'm just kind of doing this because I think it will be good. So basically, anytime something falls past these tripwire hooks, uh, you can see they get pulled down and that's just basically going to be like counting one chicken uh, fallen down. So that's going to be, oh uh, yeah, the, the way we're going to do that. And whoa, look at Polly has been doing amazing work trying to get the the others built and i was just about to say we should go to bed and it looks like uh, uh polly was thinking before me she certainly doesn't like googlies so she's very eager to, to sleep at any point uh, that she can so yeah let's go to, to bed and then let's go downstairs and uh, let's try and get the 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 redstone done so i will be honest here i'll be 100 percent honest it is a little bit complicated but I think it's interesting, even if like you don't build this yourself, I think the the way the counting works is quite easy to kind of understand in concept and uh, yeah, kind of different to any type of redstone I've done before. So the way we're going to count is with minecarts. Okay, so basically you can see that there's three little blocks here and these are going to be like ramps basically. So if I put power rails along here and then build the, the track in between them like this. When the minecart gets to, to here, it will come and it will stop on this power rail because it's not powered. But then if I power this power rail, it's then going to move along to the next one. Then if I power this one, it's going to move to the next one and stop. And so basically, the way we're going to count to three is by having three diff different stops for the, the minecart to stop on. So all we need to do is to make sure that we power the minecarts in the, the right order uh, so that, you know, it doesn't set off the wrong one. Because if it kind of sets them all off at the same time, then the minecart's just going to go completely over all of them and that's not what we want to do we want it to, to stop at each one and then this track's going to go and loop uh, around here and kind of come back at the other direction but there is a, a few more things we need to do over there so yeah we're going to deal with that in just one second but first uh, let's see if we can go and get this working so it's going to be pretty simple to be honest all we need is a bit of redstone and then some repeaters to delay the signal so the first one we want to be set off is this one we want it to set this one off then this one and then this one because then that way no matter where the minecart is it's only going to move across cross one. Uh, so if I just kind of do a straight track of redstone uh, leading to, to this one without any delay, uh, then that one should be uh, that one should be good to go. And then the next one, we're going to add a bit of a delay. So I'm going to kind of go up to, to here and then loop back around this way. And I'm going to go and uh, pull back a, a bunch of these um, uh, re uh, repeaters to delay this signal. And then this one's going to, to go to, to that one there. And then we can have a uh, another track of redstone leading from this one. And then this one can loop around like this and it can go and uh, loop back around this way to, to about here and then go back and, uh, and set this one off. So all I need to do is go and pull back these repeaters. And so what this should hopefully do, fingers crossed, <laughs> is that if something falls uh, past the, uh, the, the tripwire hook, uh, it should uh, kind of set uh, that one off, that one off and then that one off so i tell you what before we go on and try and do anything else uh polly can you go and run to the uh the orange side and be ready to, to throw something down when i say and then we can go and uh, do a little bit of a, of a test so what i might as well do uh, is go and make uh, a minecart and put it down and uh, we can see exactly what happens because uh, if you don't understand what it is i'm doing here if i kind of just show you i think that's going to be the uh, the the best way to do it so let's all oh, Hello, Polly. <laughs> Did, can you go to the uh, the, the tripwire hook quickly upstairs? If you kind of just uh, pile up um, uh, pile up here for for now, uh, and then oh, what are you trying to? Okay, I think something happened. <laughs> let's go and uh, and follow Polly for uh, a second, and uh, let's see what's going on. Hopefully, we uh we haven't had any uh, any creepers or anything. Uh, let me go and uh, have a little bit of a look and see what's ah. There is. We have a creeper <laughs> inside of the, uh, yeah, inside of the duck game. Let's go and uh, deal with that person before we go and do anything else. That was a, a good cool, Polly. It's okay. It's okay, Polly. Look, I've dealt with it. The creepers have gone. It's daytime. No more googlies are going to spawn. Just don't look behind you because there is a zombie over there. But don't worry. If it came to you, it would burn. So you're, you're totally fine, Polly. Tell you what, you stay up here on the, the roof and you can kind of drop items down and try and get them down there when I say. <laughs> and we'll see if this is going to, to work. <laughs> Where's William Beaver when you uh, when you need him? Right then, so let's go and uh, put this minecart uh, down on this one. And so whenever you're ready, Polly, if you throw an item past the, the tripwire hook, uh, hopefully that minecart is going to move to to here and then stop. That's what we want it to do anyway. So there we go. Oh wait, it's not done it yet. And there we go. That's done it perfectly. 
and then the the next one should move it to, to there and then it should go across to the the end there we go i think that should hopefully uh, be be working perfectly i don't know if polly threw a, a few items uh, down but that seemed uh, to be all working fine i do believe so that kind of goes around to there and then to, to that one and then this loops around to here then back the way yeah i think this should uh, all be set up properly so that's kind of the 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 main part of the redstone done to be honest then the only other thing we need to do is we need to set it up so that when it gets to the end, it goes and it blocks the um that area off. You know those sticky pistons we put down earlier? Uh, we need to make sure they all get extended. So what we're going to do is we're going to build another ramp here, uh, kind of just like this. And then we're going to put a detector rail down at the end of it. And then when the minecart lands on the detector rail, that's what's going to be setting off uh, all of the, the redstone to, to go and uh, block off all of the um, uh, the uh, the sticky pistons. That's going to make them all extend. And so the only tricky thing we need to do is to make sure that we can make the minecart stop exactly there. And also to stop this track. Why is this track turning that way? You can't even link up to that. Let's do this here and then place that back down. Is that going to work? There we go. <laughs> so yeah, what we need to do is make sure that we uh, block this track off here. And the way we're going to do that is by by just using a uh, another piston so if i go and put a piston uh, right about here i think uh, actually i think that's a little bit too close if i put it one back i believe that if i make this piston extend that is going to block the the minecart kind of right in its uh, in its tracks here so let's go and uh, before we carry on let's go and do a little bit of a, a test of that and uh, make sure that's working properly so if i extend this uh this here and uh, let's kind of bring this minecart so it goes that way oh nearly come on make it over come on over the top oh <laughs> what i should do is i uh, probably just now uh, go and throw down a, a bunch of um of power rails uh, along here because i was going to to have to do that anyway uh, so i might as well do it now for this uh this test so let's go and uh, grab all of these power rails and uh, just do this because we want this to go pretty quick as well along here uh, just so um uh, yeah, just so that the, the it gets blocked off almost uh, immediately. So let's go and uh, set this minecart off now and hopefully it gets stopped. There we go. So it gets stopped right in place there. And so now if we had a trail of redstone going off there, that is going to go and uh, block off all of the, um, the the sticky pistons. So now all we need to do is go and link this up. So this is the this is the scary point because I need to to work out where these sticky pistons are. But there's also um there's a lot of water above me. So I got to be really careful breaking these blocks to make sure I don't go and flood all of my reds. And I think I've done it. There we go. Here are my, my four sticky pistons right here. So now, uh, if I just go and put a bunch of redstone torches underneath them, uh, they should all get uh, should all get extended. And then I can put another uh, row of uh, torches underneath them, which will turn the other torches off so then they won't be uh, pushed back. Uh, but then we'll be able to, to switch them uh, on and off uh, at ease. So let's go and uh, go one, two, three, four along there. And then I basically just need to do the, the same on the, the underneath here. And then that way the, the redstone should be uh, pretty simple uh, to, to do. So let's go along here. One, two, three, four. And then this trail of redstone uh, just needs to, to go and uh, link up with all of these. So what I think I'll do is just have it kind of go along there like, ah, I don't want it to link up with this redstone here. So tell you what, let's have this loop around... Um, Hmm, how can I, I just kind of want to make sure I can fit all of this in. Well, tell you what, I can do it on the, the other side. Let's go and have this trail of redstone go along uh, here like uh, this. And then I can have it go and uh, link up uh, like this with a, a bunch of repeaters. There we go. That's uh, an easy way to, to to do things. As you can see, I haven't planned this redstone too much. I kind of came up with the, uh, the general idea and I'm kind of just making it all fit. And also... I'm doing this now. I'm going to have to do the exact same thing on all four sides as well. And don't panic. I'm not doing it all in this episode. I'm kind of just showing you how it works. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to have to do this <laughs> another uh, another bunch of times as well. But that should be this completely set up now. So uh, those pistons should now uh, be uh, extended because it's there. But then if I pull this back here, uh, they should uh, all go and uh, get pulled back just like that. So uh, let's go and finish off the, the rest of this minecart track. So I should probably uh, go and put a, a power rail uh, down here uh, as well and then I just need to, to keep that lit up so let's just go and make a uh, another lever and uh, let's just go and put that on the the side here like this uh, just to keep that power rail lit up uh, and then I can go and uh, do the the rest of the track to, to go and uh, complete the the circuit and there we go this is uh, looking pretty awesome so the only other thing I need to do is you remember that lever that I put down a while ago it was up here somewhere let me go and see where it is uh, you know in kind of the the entrance to, to my area I put a lever down here 
here, didn't I? And then this is going to be the, the thing that extends that piston. So that should be uh, the, the final thing that I need to, to link up. So while I'm building the redstone, I'm just going to go and kind of destroy a bunch of this area, uh, just so I can see uh, exactly what I'm doing and where the... Um, uh, the, the lever is uh, to link up with all of the, the redstone. So I think the lever is right above this block here, if I'm correct. So if I put that down, there we go. You can see that redstone uh, is all lit up there. So I can make it kind of come down. I guess I can kind of come down this way. I just basically need to make this link up to the, the piston. It's kind of annoyingly directly above the, the piston, <laughs> which you might think would make it easier, but actually kind of makes it a little bit more difficult because the, the piston's kind of in the, the way. But let's kind of just loop it around like uh, like this and then tell you what I could just do this and then there we go that's uh that's got the the piston extended so uh hopefully now if I go and switch that lever on and off it should basically extend that piston and pull it back and then I think this is all going to be good to go so has that pulled the oh is that piston stayed up anyway hmm okay it looks like it looks like this piston's been extended by by something else. I was going to go and try and do the redstone leading to it like that. So let's go to, let's do what I was going to do before. Let's have this redstone kind of go out like this and then loop back round like um like that and then kind of have it facing into the uh the the piston. So if I go and add a uh, a repeater somewhere <laughs> is that going to help me? <laughs> oh dear, it's kind of it's annoying because it's just so close. To, to where the the piston is. Tell you what, let's make this go down lower to about here. I think I think Polly's come down to to supervise me with my redstone, <laughs> but I can then um, kind of have it going. Oh, no, I can't put a block under underneath it. Uh, I could just go and loop it round like this maybe, and then if I add a a repeater somewhere, is that going to to help? I don't know what's making the um, I don't know what's making that lever get extended. Oh, it does seem to be. Uh, it, do it does seem to be that lever that's affecting it in some way. Is that just kind of setting it off anyway? Um, let, me, let me go and put that redstone back down and let me see if that's going to, to switch it. Because if it is, that's the problem solved. There we go. The problem has been solved. Let's go and block this off and make no changes at all because it's working right now. I don't know how it's working, but it's working. <laughs> so that is going to do uh, fine by me. So Polly, uh, should we go to, to bed uh, again quick? And then I think we're going to be ready for a little bit of a, of a test to go. So uh, before we go and uh, release the, the chickens, I just want to have one quick check to make sure all the, the redstone uh, is, uh, is working properly. Uh, and then we can uh, yeah, go and release the chickens and have a, a proper tester game. And uh, yeah, I guess the the first uh, official game with the the game uh, pretty much uh, com, uh, complete. So uh, if you go to where the trip wires are again, and when I say if you just go and drop something past them, uh, and then we can have a little bit of a, a test, and I can see what the uh, uh, the minecart's doing. So I think I've just pulled the the lever back, uh, which I have. Uh, so that would set the um. Uh, that would set this minecart to kind of go to its first uh, position uh, over there and all. I think I might need to add a, another power rail down here as well. So let's go and add a, another power rail down there uh, just to make sure that the um, the, the minecart does kind of reach its first position. And there we go. So that's in its uh, first position. So whenever you're, red poly, uh, you're ready, Polly, uh, drop something down. Oh, I think she's already dropped something down. So hopefully uh, this minecart uh, is now uh, going to go to the, uh, the second position uh, like that. Uh, and then there we go, and now it's going to the uh, the the final position like that. And then if uh, Polly drops one more thing down, uh, then it should hopefully go uh, to the um. Uh, to the end and stop there. The only thing I need to do uh, is power up all of these power rails. But luckily, though, uh, it seems like uh, everything seems to be uh, pretty much working. So, uh, yeah, let's go upstairs and uh, let's see what happens and have a bit of a, a test to go. So the final thing that I need to do is uh, to go and uh, link up uh, all of this redstone here again uh, to, to make it uh, so that the uh, the slime block kind of keeps getting launched again. So let's go and uh, link this up here. Uh, that's going to be launching all of the, the chickens in the sky. Let's do this. I am so looking forward to this. I think this is going to definitely be one of the uh, uh, the more enjoyable games uh, that I've done in my uh, my fun land to, to date. So I think uh, this is going to be a really good fun one. So let's go and uh, push that to, to there. Then I'm going to go upstairs and uh, I need to, to pull the, the lever once. So if you kind of go directly opposite me, Polly, uh, in the, the yellow side, and I'll have a go against you from here. So I'm going to go and grab some of my, my snowballs. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to kind of keep count on your side, obviously, because there's no redstone. Uh, but yeah, let's begin in three, two, 
one and go. It looks like there's one chicken in the middle. Look at that. The chicken's moving straight over to the, the yellow side. So normally, because we'd be doing this at a 4v4, you could be trying to get the chickens to kind of any side that you want. Of course, this is kind of a, a 1v1. So I really only need to, to worry about getting the chickens to the yellow side. Is that one down? Look at that. One straight down there. That was a good start. I can't see if Polly uh, has got any down in my side yet. I think she got some close. Uh, I got to wait for that chicken to come back up. And there we go. Let's try and send it straight back down. Oh, look, she sent it straight back to, to me. <laughs> that was some good defensive moves there from Polly. She kind of blocked it uh, from getting to me. Let me go and try and throw that down. And oh, no, I'm out of snowballs. I am out of snowballs. Well, let's just see what happens here uh, when Polly... Uh, starts knocking some chickens down my side. There we go. She got three down and then that got blocked off. That is absolutely perfect. So then uh, all I'd need to, to, to do is go and switch the, the lever. Uh, and then that should get the minecart back in position. Uh, switch it back like this. And then we would be ready for another round. That worked absolutely beautifully. So what that means is in the, the next episode, I'm going to be inviting a few more of my friends into the uh, the, the game. Uh, we can maybe even put a few more chickens in. And then we can have a, a four-player game on this game. Whatever I end up calling it. <laughs> I am so excited about that. So yeah, that is the uh, the end of this episode here. I want to say a huge uh, thank you to, to Polly uh, for being so good building all of these and uh, helping me out. And of course, a very big thank you to you for watching and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye!